hi everyone it's your girl lizzie once again and if you're just watching me for the first time please do subscribe like share and also comment in the comment section below for returning subscribers i love you guys so much thank you all so much today i'm going to be showing you all how i was able to tie this ghillie if this video helps you in any way please don't forget to subscribe share also like and comment thank you all so much so the first thing i did was to fold the edges of the ghillie this is very very important whenever you want to tie any ghillie at all thereafter i made some pleats on her head and as usual you make the pleats according to how big or how small the ghillie is so right now i'm just tracing the pleats down towards her neck area for the right hand side and also for the left hand side the rule for this ghillie tutorial today is 80 20 one hand of the ghillie has to really be longer than the other hand of the ghillie the longer hand of the ghillie is what is going to come through to the front of her head and to the back while the shorter hand of the ghillie which which is the 20 part of the ghillie stays just at the back that is what i'm going to use to knot the ghillie at the back so that it stays firm so at this point i'm going to bring the 80 part of the ghillie right now to the Front, and I'm just going to make pleats Like I always say, the pleat is the beauty of the ghillie. So you really want to take your time in doing this so that it comes out really, really beautiful and nice. So in making my pleats today, I'm not going to make them farther from each other. I'm just going to place every pleat that I'm making on top of each other so that it gives me that, it gives it so that it stands and it gives me that very beautiful shape. That is what I am going to be doing in this video. So at this point, I'm going to take my time in making my pleat so that it comes out really really beautiful and nice in doing this it can really be tedious at times but once you're used to it once you're used to it then you're good to go it becomes less and less difficult So at this point guys, I'm done making my pleats. I'm just going to take the 80 part of the ghillie to the back and then I'm going to knot it with the 20 part of the ghillie. I'm just going to hold the edge of the 80 part of the ghillie and I'm going to knot everything at the back together. I'm just going to knot everything two times so that it doesn't unravel at any point on her head. Moving on, I'm going to come over to the front and arrange my pleats properly so that it gives me that round shape. I'm just going to arrange everything properly.
guys if you remember when i was knotting the 80 parts of the ghillie at the back of her head i held only the edge of the ghillie so i'm going to hold the remaining parts of the ghillie that i did not hold when i was knotting the ghillie then i'm going to take it to the back right now that's the part i am holding right now i'm going to take it to the back and i'm just going to pin everything properly i'm going to make sure that everything is secured at the back so at this point i'm just going to quickly cover the back of the ghillie here is what the back of everything should look like At this point, I'm going to style my ghillie at the front. I'm going to be using quite a number of pins. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to be creating a little gap in between the pleats that I have done and I'm going to be pinning everything. It's just like I'm creating some ruffles also. I'm just going to be pinning everything so that it comes out really beautiful. I do hope that you guys understand what I'll be doing and what I have done in this tutorial. If you actually have any questions to ask me, please don't forget to comment in the comment section. It's very important. And if you know that there is any gilly you want me to tie, if you don't know how to tie this, anyone that you want me to show you how to tie, you can just send me a message on my Instagram. My Instagram page is Lizzie's Touch. Don't forget to send me a message there and I'll be there for you. so guys this is about the end of this tutorial all i'm doing basically is to create some gaps in between the pleats and i'm just pinning everything down so that it comes out the way that i want it to and so that it comes out really really beautiful it's not difficult at all I do hope that this video has helped you and I do hope it has helped so many persons. If it has, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and also comment in the comment section below. Like I said, if there is any gilly at all you don't know how to tie and you want me to help you out with, please don't forget to send a DM at Lizzie's Touch and I will be there for you and if you've not turned on your notification buttons please do that so that each time i post you will definitely get the notification and you will be the first to know i love you guys so much and i just can't wait to see you all in my next video bye bye have a wonderful day